Welcome to Jacksonville Now. It's a show that brings you all there is to see and do in historic Jacksonville, Oregon. It's a great and amazing town to come and visit. This show brought to you by the Jacksonville Review. There's so many amazing things to do that today we're going to give you a little bit of an overview of all that Jacksonville has to offer. And who better to talk about it than the owner of the Jacksonville Review, Whit Parker. Joe, like many others, I discovered Jacksonville when I came to visit some friends years ago. My wife and I fell in love with it. Unbeknownst to us, we ended up owning the Jacksonville Review. We're pretty immersed in the community, and I have to tell you, there are people from all walks of life living here, and it is a, it's a wonderful place to live. One of the main things that makes Jacksonville so unique, it's history. This old west town, founded on gold and rich in pioneer history. After the initial gold strikes in Jacksonville, the town was pretty much frozen in time. And what you see today, a lot of people say, wow, it looks like a movie set. In many respects, that's what it is, and it's a preserved one. And so what we have is a really interesting, really cool, eclectic mix of residential and business going on in Jacksonville. While Jacksonville may have faded out in the early 20th century, it is back to life these days, offering just about anything you would like to do. Visitors can get lost here for days on end, and we like to say this is a small town with big atmosphere with a lot to do. Whether you're interested in wine tasting, world-class shopping, wonderful, wonderful dining, hiking trails galore. Let's start with shopping. From that perfect antique you've always been searching for, to clothes and jewelry, you'll find it all in Jacksonville. Really some world-class shopping experiences here in Jacksonville, and they're all basically owned by independent mom-and-pop type owners. They are passionate about it and everything in this town is unique. You're not going to find cookie cutter mall type stores here. You're going to find really unique individualized stores. I'm here at the Brit Festival grounds now and this stage right here behind me some famous musicians have played there over the years as the concert under the stars has become very popular here in Jacksonville. But one of the hidden gems you may not know about the trail system that surrounds this Brit Hill and other hills all over Jacksonville. What started out 20 years ago with the Jacksonville Woodlands Association with a few miles of trails has grown into about 20 to 30 miles of trails. You can not only just walk the town, the streets, you can walk trails. We offer an experience for hikers and walkers alike. If you worked up an appetite on the trail or you need a little kickstart after a long walk, you're in luck. Yeah, we're really fortunate in Jacksonville. We have three outstanding coffee shops all offering something different as well as about 12 restaurants, all of which are uh, very unique, all family owned, all independently owned all offering really unique chef-inspired food. And with the last name Camerlinghi, an old world Italian name, I say your stay is not complete without the vino. This is an amazing wine region. It's really up and coming. And really in the last 10 years, we've seen just tremendous growth from just a handful out in the Applegate Valley now to really Jacksonville is ringed by vineyards. Yeah, not only are we really fortunate to have the Applegate Valley Wine Trail to the west of us with 17 actual working vineyards and tasting rooms, right here in Jacksonville, Oregon, we have JOA, the Jacksonville, Oregon Winery Association, with several tasting rooms. With so much to do, you're gonna need a few days, and that means a place to stay. You're in luck there as well. Jacksonville has several bed and breakfasts and some first-class suites that make you feel at home. There's just so much going on here. You'll have to come see for yourself. We hope you'll come visit us in our small town with big atmosphere. Well, I hope you enjoyed this look around Jacksonville brought to you by the Jacksonville Review. I'm Joe Camerlinghi for Jacksonville Now.